Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the ultimate truck upgrade for fishermen. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dan Richard is not fishing. As you guys can see, I haven't done much fishing lately. I've been super, super busy around the house. So today we wanna to do a fun video, but before we do that, I wanted to kind of show you some of the projects that I've been up to and what I've been doing instead of fishing, because it has been super busy and you can see behind me, Right there is a big garden shed that I'm building. So come on, I'll give you a quick little tour. Let me show you that. But before we do that, I want to show you something else, a fun little project I've been working on. Come over here and check this out. Guys, check out my sunflowers. How's that? Is that high enough? <laughs> Giant sunflowers. These are Mongolian sunflowers that I've been trying to grow. This guy got broken. It's because groundhogs and squirrels keep eating them. Half of them are dead. They're gone. So yeah, this is one little side project I did just to try it, um, but I'll be, I won't be doing it again. All right, let's go check out the shed. All right, so first of all, come on in, let's go over here. This is my, this is the project here, like you can check it out. This is kind of what we've been up to. And uh, one of the challenges with this project is the fact that I'm doing this by myself. So I have zero help because of COVID-19, right? Uh, my family is isolated in another city. Um, I can't really call people to come and help me. So I've been doing this all by myself. So not only do we have the complication of having to build it, but I also have to do a lot of stuff to compensate that I'm doing it by myself. So I have to set things up and build things to hold things, and it's been kind of a, a pain in the butt. Uh, so for those of you that are interested, it's uh, a 12 by 16 foot shed. It's built on a free floating base, so there is no concrete base or anything like that. It's just uh, some geo blanket with some crushed stone and then uh, paving stones and concrete blocks. Um, the key to this is not to disturb the earth. As long as you don't disturb the ground underneath, you're already using compact soil, it won't shift very much. So, um, and this is like the third shed that I build like this, so it won't really shift too much over time, especially here in Canada, we got all those crazy winters with the frost. So yeah, so that's it. So you can see I've basically framed it all. I got half the roof up. I've been putting up the OSB. So uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. But this has been killing my time, guys. Every weekend, every second that I can when it's not raining, this is what I've been working on. It's just been, it's just been bananas. All right, let's go back over here. Welcome to my shed. The other thing is too, guys, to keep in mind is with the COVID-19 thing, the Canadian-US border was completely, is completely shut down. It's been shut down since like March. So I had some amazing videos that I had planned to, you, to do for you guys. I was signed up for three FLW Toyota Series events as a co-angler this time. So not a marshal, a co-angler. And I was gonna film the whole experience of being a co-angler in a professional tournament and all that got killed, so all that content got kiboshed. I had to close all my bookings. I had Airbnbs all lined up, and I was fishing with some other amazing anglers that we were gonna do uh, our practice videos, and all of that got shot in the butt. And even now, the border is shut. It's shut till at least the end of September, and will probably continue. So I haven't been able to go to Champlain. I haven't been able to do anything. So yeah, it's been a tough summer for fishing for sure. Today though, we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna have us some fun. My daughter's behind the camera today and we're gonna go and have some fun. Let me show you guys what we're up to, all right? Let's go to the garage. So welcome to my extremely messy garage. It's a disaster. But as promised, today we're gonna install the ultimate truck upgrade, guys. The ultimate truck upgrade. It's the flopping bass. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Let me explain what this is in case you don't know what this amazing piece of technology is. This is something that you put on the trailer hitch of your vehicle and when you press the brakes, the tail on the bass flaps around and the eyes light up. <laughs> now I saw this at a local hardware store for $5 Canadian, okay? That's like $3.50 American. For $3.50, I thought it would be hilarious someday to attach this to the truck and drive around and see if we can get people's reactions. So guess what we're doing today? We're gonna to attach this thing to the truck, we're gonna drive around and see if we can catch on a camera on the back, or we're gonna put a GoPro on the truck. We'll see if we can get people's reactions, uh, or if they even notice it. We'll see if we can get people cracking up, whatever. Let's just try it out, all right, guys? And I guess this is sort of a review. How good is the hitch critter flopping bass? Let's do it. <laughs> all right, so let's see what's in the box here. All right, here we go. Doesn't get any easier than that. There is our flopping fish. <laughs> okay, it's got like a little servo in there, <laughs> and the eyes light up. So you got some LEDs in the in the in the head over here, and I guess this just fits over the hitch. I hope. 
and uh, we got a connector so you can see the connector obviously is just ground and positive for the brake light um, the only problem is, is on a ram this isn't long enough so I think we're gonna have to extend it so let's go we'll go try it on the truck I'm gonna go check and see if the wire fits and if it doesn't we'll, we'll extend it and then we'll go mess around so there you go there's the bass very nice wait I don't want to break it okay let's not break it all right let's do it all right let's see the, oh I forgot the hitch I guess first thing we got to do is put the hitch on <laughs> let's see if mr. fish here is Ooh. Oh, it does. It is long enough. It's barely long enough, but it's long enough. Oh, nice. Okay, so we don't have to screw around with rewiring it. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get this thing on here. Already, it's like super tight. I don't know. Is it supposed to be that loose? <laughs> Drastic measures. There we go. We got him. Oh, it's just loose like that. That's kind of weird. That's scary. I kind of want to be tighter on here. There we go. All right, let's see. <laughs> this is too funny. All right, let's see, can this plug in? Oh my God, it's like the cable is just long. Okay, wait, let's turn a bit. <laughs> <Can I? laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, let me go press on the brake and see if it works. <laughs> Did it work? Did it move? <laughs> wait, yeah, technically if I just lock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is it? It's good? Technology at its finest, folks. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna just put the GoPro on here. I don't know if they're gonna pay attention to the GoPro or the fish. And we'll see if we can get some reactions. I'm just gonna tie this string around it to tether it in case the GoPro falls off. We'll drive around and see if we can get something. <laughs> Expensive cameras being held by burlap string. <laughs> Always a great idea. <laughs> All right, there we go, the ultimate setup. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna drive around now. We're gonna see if we can get some reactions. We got the GoPro on, I've connected to it with the phone, and uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. My daughter's gonna have the big camera in hand and see if she can get some reactions as well. So uh, let's do it, let's go for a ride. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot be the only one that thinks this is hilarious. Look at this, you see him? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's too good. Um, the passenger on the like was laughing and shaking her head, and the guy on the, the driver was kind of like scrutinizing it also. So overall, we're seeing just a lot of confusion right now. Yeah, basically. <laughs> the guys are laughing and women are like, "This is stupid." There's a lot of people that are like confused. They're like, "What's going on?" I'm waiting to see if somebody takes out like their camera to take a photo. <laughs> Look at this idiot. <laughs> I think yeah, they're looking. They're looking. Yeah. yeah but I can't see inside their car. They're wearing masks while they're driving. That's not fair. <laughs> Look at it, he's pointing at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we got you got the Volkswagen coming here. We're gonna see we got a reaction. Oh, that's so cool. Is it because they like my fish? Ah <laughs> uh, they they're trying to be serious, but they know it's funny. That would actually be hilarious if we can get a police officer. He's gonna like whoop whoop light me up. Uh, it's an illegal uh, modification, sir. <laughs> yep. oh, oh, there, let's see. Is she seen it behind us? She is. She's clearly impressed. She's so impressed. So, she see it? Clearly her ovaries are exploding. Oh my god. Because she looks... She's just... texting how awesome it is. How do you not notice this fish flapping around? <laughs> Give me attention! <laughs> so this is the problem. I live in a very quiet area. There's just not much traffic here, so it's, 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 it's hard to even get a car behind me. Nobody. Like, we're stuck in a light and there's nobody behind us. <laughs> there's nobody even, like, down the road. It's just empty. Oh, we got a big, we got a pickup coming. Let's see if he sees it. Let's see. Got, oh, is, he, is it another jack? Yeah. If it is, then, Let's like, see if he sees it. Is it the second jack? Wait, no, he's, he's like, laughing. Oh, he sees it for sure. Look, yeah. look, look. He's pointing at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the girl is so impressed. He's looking at his phone. Get off your phone, dude. No, he's definitely looking at his phone. Get off your phone. He's bent all the way downward. Is 
the hardest part. I never, I didn't think it would, I didn't even think of this part. It'd be so difficult to get somebody driving behind us. <laughs> like, look, there's not a single person. All right, here we go. Let's see. They're just pointing at it. They're just pointing at it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> they're laughing. <laughs> like, she's, she's embarrassed for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has her phone! And she got the phone out? <laughs> she has her phone out! She has her phone out! She has her phone out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she so has good. her phone out! I told you someone's gonna have their phone out for you. Sure. She has her phone out! She has her phone out! She's pointing at it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh my god, this is so good. Guys, you just saw the proof. Fellas, it's a hit with the ladies. Let's see if you, let's see if you see. Okay, we got an elderly couple here. Let's see their sense of, let's see. Are they noticing? Look, she's pointing at it too. <laughs> hey, he's got, he's laughing, look. <laughs> he's laughing, look. <laughs> oh, he's having a good time. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's describing it. It's so good. Oh my god, these these reactions are the best. It's so good. All right, look at him. Look at him. He's having a good time. Let's see. Does he see it? Does he see it? He is. He's tired. And, <laughs> or is he is he face palming? I can't tell. <laughs> He's looking, looking, he's looking at like, what the hell am I looking at right now? Look, look, he's totally noticing it. He's totally noticing it. Uh, they look confused. They look very confused. It's like, what in the hell am I looking at right now? <laughs> she's laughing. She just looked over at us. And as soon as I looked over, she like, what? <laughs> Turned away. <laughs> Don't make eye contact with the psychos. <laughs> the psycho fish people. guys that was a lot of fun <laughs> I needed a good laugh that was a lot of fun I hope you guys enjoyed it too Karina thanks a lot for being my camera girl back there and uh, that's it for today guys so well, listen I hope you guys stay safe have some fun out there you know don't be too serious we gotta we gotta have some fun in life that's what it's about and uh, hopefully pretty soon we'll go do some fishing and uh, we'll have a new fishing video up but uh, yeah in the meantime enjoy yourselves take it easy out there be safe have some fun and we'll talk to you on the next video peace <laughs>